So last week, uh, or maybe the week before, Runway released um, some new data set tools. So I thought I would uh, take a moment to just sort of compare those to my own library and just sort of walk through the steps that it takes to um, augment or change your data set in uh, Runway. So let's take a look. Um, so the first thing you have to know is that uh, you sort of have to start a training before you can actually access your data set tools. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to hit uh, train a new image model. Um, we'll just call this uh, data set test. Great. Um, and then you'll have to upload your data set. So I've got a couple data sets here already. I'm just going to grab a very small one um, just so it uploads really, really quickly. Um, so this happens to be from someone who uh, I scraped from Twitter. Uh, if you're watching, I promise I won't abuse your tools, but I really thought they were cool images. Um, so just going to go ahead and upload. Um, it takes a little bit of time to upload this because you're uploading it to Runway's cloud servers where they have access to everything. Um, so it'll upload for a little bit. Actually, these are really big. Um, okay, so maybe we'll work with a pre-existing one. But that, basically, that's how you upload stuff. You just uh, grab a folder and drag it in. Um, while this uploads, I'm going to start working in one of these folders. Um, so again, uh, you sort of have to start with selecting a data set. So this is the data set I'm going to work off of. Um, if you come in, click on this little... Uh, ellipses button and then you hit pre-process you'll get access to the tools and this takes a little bit of time as well so you'll see now um, all of the images you uploaded are now in this folder um, so there's a couple of things that I think sort of immediately out of the box when I look at this is first off I see that it's 640 by 640 which is helpful um, but the thing is, if I want to do a 1024 by 1024, I don't know what my options are here. Like, can I upscale this thing? Um, can I change the dimensions? Can I, like, uh, mirror it? Can I do other things with it to sort of, like, change how it's viewed? Um, none of that is a immediately apparent to me. It looks like I've got some options here for auto crop, which will uh, actually use a machine learning model to figure out how to do the crops. Um, it has center crop and it has random crop. So if I click uh, center crop, because it's already a square image, I think it's just going to work. I don't know if I have any non-square images here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I bet with this data set, I don't have any non-square images. Uh, let me see if I have any in my other data set. Close. Um, let's grab this guy. I bet you there's some in here. I also might have pre-processed all my own data sets already, so uh, they might not be... Yeah, see, this one's already square, too. Well, I pr it looks like I already did my own work. Let's go to this one now that's finished uploading, see if there's some non-squares in here. My cat is also apparently very excited about data sets. Okay, here's some non-square images. This is great. Uh, so center crop is going to, as you see, just immediately move it to the center. Random crop is going to, uh, looks like it randomizes the X position. Or, yes, the X position. Um, so this is pretty helpful. Uh, one thing that I see immediately here is that I can't make multiple copies of this, right? So one thing I might do is if I were to augment my own data set is I might actually make multiple random crops. Uh, let's say, since there's only 137 images in this data set, I might want to make multiple crops. So I can't, I don't really see that being possible here. It looks like there's just one crop. Um, center crop is helpful. Let's look at the auto crop feature. I think this is going to load a machine learning model to try to figure out how to crop things. So that's interesting. I get an error. I've actually never gotten this to work, so I wonder if there's maybe something up with it. Uh, there's also an option here of enable freeform crop. So uh, you can grab this and you can start to crop in. Um, and here again, you'll see, uh, you know, it's now changing the size of your image, which is helpful. Um, although I'm actually interested in making non-square crops because with their model, you have to do square cropping. So this is kind of sort of interesting. If I hold on shift, yep. If I hold on shift, that does, uh, make it the same. Hold on. Center crop, then hold down shift. Yes. Okay. So shift just maintains the, uh, proportion you're already in. So if you make something really narrow and then you hold down shift, it's just going to do this. So it's a little interesting to me. I'm not sure what they do when they actually process these. Like if they were to, if I were to take this crop, would it recrop it to square? Um, not clear to me. Uh, 
the nice thing is you can grab, you could grab all of your images here and you could uh, do center crops for all of them. Cool, so now all the images are cropped, um, which is nice if you just like wanna just quickly make a data set and upload stuff, uh, that could work. Um, so if I go in here and I click on this guy, you'll see it already is immediately cropped. Um, so one thing that's, that I also noticed is there's no way to actually delete images from this set. So if I click on this one, and let's say for whatever reason this image isn't something I wanna work with, um, I'm not sure I can just delete it. The delete button doesn't work. There's not much I can do here. Um, so, you know, in general I would say like, this is a pretty basic tool of, you know, being able to create a data set. Um, if you wanted to do more, you could. What I do like is you could do batch auto crop and then actually change these a little bit. Um, so let's say I want to center on this guy. I could submit this. Um, so it's now processing my data set, um, which is nice. Again, like this is sort of cleaning it up. Uh, it's, is, it creates a new folder. Um, so you do have multiple folders in here. Uh, I do know that they have a limit for cloud uploads, I believe, as a part of your uh, creator plan. I don't know what that actually is. I've yet to hit that limit. Um, so maybe it maybe it's exists, maybe it doesn't. Um, but anyway, like I would say in general, like the data set tools here are pretty straightforward. They're pretty simple. Um, you know, if you've taken my classes or if you've watched any of my data set tools and you feel comfortable using the data set tool library, I'd probably recommend that over this just because there's way more functionality in it. Um, but if you are just like uncomfortable with the command line or uh, don't want to do a lot of work in Photoshop, this is a pretty nice tool to just like do a batch like make everything square, that sort of thing. Um, so I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's probably worth checking out if you are not a command line user. Um, but I would say in general, it's like probably not the best, it's not the best like really robust tool if you're interested in creating a really like uh, fine-tuned data set. Um, so that's it for now. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, either hit me up on Slack or in the YouTube comments. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.